Please play the strings for me. No man is able to influence a generation effectively, effectively, except they are transformed. Are we together? Yes, please. So it matters that we are transformed. And the Bible says in Romans, when you read from verse um, chapter 12 and verse 1, it says, um, I beseech thee, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, calls it your reasonable act of service. Verse 2 says, and be not conformed. Listen very carefully to this word. The word world there is the Greek word aeon. It means the mindset, the stronghold, the thinking pattern that comes with the age. It says, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. Transformation is a key. If you want to sustain a position where you are able to influence a generation, you must be transformed. In this sense, to be transformed means to have a superior belief system. Write it down, please. Let's deal with belief systems a bit. It is the one reason why many of us may never be used by God in a very notable way. We are very well-meaning, we are very sincere, but we have been unable to sustain a superior belief system. Everyone say belief system. Say it again, belief system. Believe me, brothers and sisters, I want you to know that if you want to serve God profitably, especially in the 21st century, you must sustain a belief system that is higher than the cultural background, the limitations that you have come from, the territorial background that um, comes with your geography, etc. You will never be able to serve the purposes of the kingdom efficiently if you do not sustain a superior belief system let's discuss this a bit now many of us come from backgrounds where because of our our upbringing we have sustained thinking patterns that may be well-meaning but are not consistent with the ways of god are we together i have taught us extensively on mindsets we have discussed strongholds um, but then it will never be too much to continue to teach us until we bend to that formation that the word seeks to bring in us with respect to transformation. Your belief system must be higher than your background. Your belief system must be higher than your failures. Your belief system must be higher than your current level of exposure if you want to contend for relevance. There are men of God, women of God and churches whose relevance cannot be outside certain geographic regions because although they are anointed, although they love God, the biases that come with their belief systems, be it cultural, be it um, sociological, the biases that come with their belief system will not afford them the opportunity to expand, to be global in perspective. To maintain or sustain a superior belief system does not mean compromising on your kingdom standards. But it means to have the flexibility to be able to adjust, to approach life from a global view, though from a kingdom perspective. You must be global in your mindset. As I'm talking now, there are people following from different nations and you must be able to communicate thrice in such a way and manner that in spite of their cultural limitations, in spite of their sociological differences, you are able to present the purposes of Christ in a way that is understood and received by them. Anyone who cannot do that will not be relevant. It's as simple as that. Is God speaking to us? The mistake that many of us make is that when we start out something in life, 
we keep scrounging around for people who relate with our geographic experiences as though they are the only ones we are called and sent to are we together i i come from plateau state for instance and i can start ministry and my entire the design of the ministry was only for those who come within my geographic context anyone who is Igbo or yoruba or from ghana or from australia will not be blessed by that service because the program was so designed to only minister to whoever has my kind of geographic context that's a very dangerous understanding you can be anointed but then god will not anoint you to be able to bless people because the limitation you do not sustain a superior belief system your paradigm has not been so constructed such that you can minister to people of all races and communicate christ are we blessed is the reason why many businesses don't rise beyond certain levels in africa is because is the reason why many ministries do not go out of their localized environment it like i said it doesn't mean to compromise on your standards but to sustain the flexibility to know that you are dealing with a generation that has come from a backlog of belief systems and that in as much as you define what you want to be your primary belief system you must have the flexibility to be able to adjust to different cultures are we together to adjust to different doctrinal approaches to spirituality without being compromised i preach in different churches regardless of their doctrinal beliefs i am able to maintain my convictions but to be able to navigate through the tides of doctrinal and denominational differences such that you can preach christ in a way and a manner that does not end up offending and destroying the people you are ministering to a transformed mind satan prefers you healed in fact satan prefers you anointed without a transformed mind because he knows the oil will remain small for as long as the vessel is small are we together the increase in the oil is not dependent on god's will alone it's dependent on the size of the vessel when the woman was saying the oil is small the oil was hearing her and you can imagine the oil saying i am not small you have only hosted me in a small vessel and the prophet said i know where the problem is go and borrow vessels you don't need another oil the oil you have has infinite potentials expand capacity for that oil to find expression that's why you see that some of us that are carrying the anointing of certain fathers seem to look more anointed than them we are not more anointed than them the anointing just came on a superior mindset so it gave it more room for expression are we together a prophet who never had the opportunity to go to school a prophet who never had the opportunity to learn a number of languages a prophet who never had the opportunity to travel outside of nigeria outside of his physical environment there is a perspective that even the knowledge of god cannot break so he will communicate christ with the limitation of that perspective if you come now and receive that same anointing with a renewed mind you now give the anointing a broader perspective to be able to manifest itself you need a transformed mind brothers and sisters you don't just need anointing on your head you need a transformed mind the law of the mind is a principle that i have taught us again and again i watch people did you know i honestly watch people and many times i feel sad i don't even know how to start praying for them because i know that the prayer i want to pray for them will not be answered the 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 faultiness of their belief system will necessitate that that answer never arrives to their life are we together there are people who they may be attacked by demons yes they may be doing a lot of things but the kind of result they are crying for requires a certain level of renewal and transformation and because they have not contended for that level of renewal you know that that prayer will never be answered in their life and it's a very frustrating thing for a man of god because you 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 can't tell somebody who is crying and saying ah apostle can god show up for me in this area you already know that that thing will not be answered as far as that person remains at that level of thinking that prayer will never be answered in his life it's a very difficult thing 
that's why sometimes when i'm counseling people i just pray for them because it's very difficult you look at the person talking and you see the backlog of limiting belief systems that empower the gates of hell over the life of the individuals and then you see the the intention the sincerity the purity of their heart you know what they desire you see how true the desire is but you know that that desire will never come to pass that way except they contend for a superior belief system you look at people and you know that this guy is already pegged to his loyalty to cultural beliefs cultural beliefs that are not kingdom compliant and you know that as far as this international context of ministry that this brother or sister is desire of you, of you can have visions in the realm of the spirit of yourself having branches all around you will not go anywhere many of us do not have the level of adjustment that allows us to be global in our approach are we together now just because you see a lady look like this or a guy look like this it, it, it can get you so offended to a point that you cannot communicate Christ to the person. And now that's the person who wants 10,000 members. You cannot have 10,000 members who all believe your context, your cultural context or doctrinal context. That means you are going to create a system of bias in that church that will be clear to a certain group of people that you are not sympathetic to them and very soon there will be all versions of revolt coming from their frustrations it is not god nor his inability to reach us but that our level of transformation has not ascended enough to be able to capture that dimension of spiritual possibility that we seek if god is speaking to you say amen, amen. many people want finances and they think all there is to finance is his business. You hear them pray and fast. They even write, oh God, I'm trusting you for one, one million per month. And they have no respect for money. They just call it one. Whereas their thinking level, notice, even financially, look at the, the figure that recycles around your life. It's a reflection of the only amount your mind can host. If they bless you higher than that, your thinking will reduce it to a cycle. Some people will never go past 100,000. Give them 10 million. In two weeks, it has returned back. Because your mindset is like a calibrator. Like a thermostat of an iron. It pegs at a level of thinking and stops there. There are pastors, the moment they cross 100 members, something must happen in that church and return the members back to 100. It's, it's not about any bias for growth. It's because they have not yet contended through transformation to the level of leadership that can make them to be able to pastor and lead that number of people. Before you cry that heaven releases something to you, find out whether you have created space through a transformed mind to host that dimension of spiritual reality. Otherwise, you are going to waste resources. Are we blessed? transformation i've taught us that you are a reflection of what you think about now please don't think this is some positive thinking teaching no matter who you are you will never be able to serve the purposes of the kingdom above and beyond your level of understanding of god of life and the transformation that your mind gives god you see the danger of serving God without a transformed mind is that because some measure of anointing will still be on your life, though you are not transformed, the limitation of your mindset will ride along with the anointing and make people think it's the anointing that is making you behave that way. If koinonia is not excellent, for instance, you will think that the kind of anointing on Joshua Selman is what makes for you to not be excellent so now i can use my imperfection in the area of excellence to mean just because the sick are getting healed through my life it must be the anointing that is making me trivialize the need for excellence and when you receive the anointing from my life you will also receive the impartation of the limitation to a life of excellence and so you see people mentor after mentor impartation after impartation and the lapse that lack of transformation brings will continue moving and we will make it look as though it was God or it came with the anointing. No. 
a transformed mind will produce a transformed life a transformed life will produce a destiny that is worthy of emulation nobody will emulate you just because you think you are born again there are many people who are worthy of being listened to but not worthy of being followed that you are list that people are listening to you listening to you does not mean that they can follow you it takes more than good preaching to be emulated they must look at the construction of your belief systems to be superior enough to be worthy of them to mold their life after your belief you're not just going to come with one greek and hebrew word one suit and one watch one car and one house and then believe that people will follow you you cannot inspire a generation that way your belief system must be so superior and it will tell on the kind the quality and the frequency of results that you get and then it will cause someone to say look i will follow after you as you follow after christ nobody just follows you because there are all kinds of men of god moving up and down yoking young people in the name of sons and daughters you must follow me but the son and the daughter is seeing a, an inferior life where the life you are living does not reflect the dimension god is showing him yet you are still pressing him and saying you must follow me and he said mr man i will follow you if you transit to reflect how my future should be be transformed you can